Hello guys, I'm Engineer Muhammad Adnan Khan and you're watching my YouTube channel Being Engineer. This is the part 9 of the series Moment of Inertia. In this video, we are going to calculate how to calculate the moment of inertia of inverted T section. This is the inverted T section for which we are going to find moment of inertia by using these two formulas. This is the theorem of parallel axis and these formulas are used to locate the centroid of any rectangular, circular or triangular or any composite figure which I have discussed in great detail in my previous videos the link of which is given in the description. So let's start our today's topic. To make it easier for you let's have an example find the moment of inertia of inverted T section about an axis parallel to the base that is parallel to the base and passing through the center of gravity of the section as you can see here these are the axis x axis and y axis x axis is parallel to the base as it is mentioned in the example that about the axis parallel to the base and passing through the centroid of the or center of gravity of the section so we will have to find the moment of inertia about this given axis and the dimensions of the figure are given as the base of the inverted T section is 20 cm the width of this section is 5 cm and the remaining height of the T section is 12 cm now and the width of this section is 6 cm now this is the step by step process you are requested to please watch the complete video and don't miss the single step to get better understanding of the topic first of all we will split the section into two rectangular regions as you can see here this is the region number one and this is the region number two the second step is to find the center of gravity of sections as I told you before we will be using these two formulas that is x dash and y dash to locate the centroid of a whole figure now this portion that is x dash will become 0 because x1 is the distance along x axis towards y axis from centroid ok and x2 will be the distance of centroid of this figure towards y axis along x axis so as this axis is passes through the centroid of a figure so x dash will become 0 we will only be left with y dash now to find y dash we will have to calculate the areas of these two regions separately that is area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by width that is the area of a region 1 its base is 20 cm and width is 5 cm and the area will be equal to 100 cm squares similarly the area of a second region that is the region number 2 its dimensions are 12 cm and 6 cm and by multiplying these two values we will get the area of a second region that is 72 cm squares now to find as you can see here we need a1 a2 y1 and y2 now what is y1 y1 is the distance of this centroid along y axis as you can see here this distance is called as y1 and it is equal to half of this region as we know that the centroid of a rectangular region lies in the center of the figure so y1 will be equal to 5 divided by 2 which comes out to be 2.5 centimeters similarly what is y2 y2 is the distance of centroid of the second region along y axis from x axis this is the y2 distance so what will be y2 it is 5 plus that is this distance plus half of the height of second region that is 12 divided by 2 which comes out to be 11 centimeters so now we have calculated a1 a2 y1 and y2 
now we will put these values in y dash formula so by putting the values a1 that is the area of the first region multiply by 2.5 that is distance y1 distance y1 plus area of a second region that is a2 multiplied by the distance of y2 and divided by sum of the areas we will get the y dash value which comes out to be 6.05 centimeter now what is 6.05 centimeter this is the combined centroid that is this point it and this is the combined centroid of both regions and it is defined as y dash now what is k1 k1 is this distance as you can see here the distance the centroid of a figure 1 and the combined centroid of whole figure the distance between centroid of a figure 1 and the distance behind the centroid of a whole figure it is it will be equal to y dash that is the total distance if we subtract y1 if we subtract y1 from y dash we will get this distance which is k1 and it is equal to 3.55 centimeters similarly to find k2 that is distance between combined centroid of a whole figure and the distance between centroid of a second region it will be equal to y2 that is the total distance along y axis y2 minus y dash if we subtract y dash from y2 we will get k2 okay which comes out to be 4.95 centimeters now we will use theorem of parallel axis that is ixx is equal to igx plus ak square and iyy is equal to igy plus ar square now in the question we have asked about to calculate the moment of inertia only about the parallel axis that is ixx and if we find about y axis this distance r that is r will be equal to 0 and but we have only to find ixx as in the as it is stated in the example so ixx is equal to igx plus ak square now the here we have two figures that is figure number one and figure number two so the formula will become ig1 that is for figure number one plus a1 k1 square area of a first region radius of gyration of a first region plus ig2 that is moment of inertia about centroidal axis of a second figure figure number two plus a2 into k2 square so by putting the values as we know that the moment of a moment of inertia about centroidal axis for a rectangle is equal to bd cube divided by 12 now b1 d1 is for figure number 1 and b2 b2 and d2 is for figure number 2 so by putting the values that is b1 b1 is 20 centimeters that is base of a this inverted t section which is 20 centimeter and its depth is 5 5 centimeters that is bd cube divided by 12 plus area of a first region into the value of a k1 which we have found in the previous slide similarly by putting these values we will get the value of ixx that is moment of inertia about x axis which we have asked about in the example that is to find moment of inertia about axis parallel to the section that is moment about x axis i hope you have understand the topic for more similar videos and informative videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get video updates